Hey there everybody. So it is officially 2017, which means it's time to talk about our favorite products of 2016. Now we're going to jump on into it. I'm going to start with hair care naturally. My favorite one of my favorite shampoos, I'm, I'm talking about two in this video, one of my favorite shampoos has got to be this one. This is the Nioxin Number 3 Cleanser. Nioxin cleansers are perfect for removing buildup on the scalp and hair, but it is not like a clarifying shampoo. It's meant to remove mineral deposits and oil buildup and really gross stuff to help promote a healthy scalp. So this is an amazing product if you're oily if maybe your hair is thinning and you just want a healthy, happy scalp, this is an awesome one. Now what I commonly do with this shampoo is I mix it 50-50 with this AG Hair Care Sterling Silver Shampoo. Now this is a purple shampoo. This is a blonde toning shampoo. Daisy's coming to join us. But this is a toning shampoo. So it's a very deep, dark purple color and it helps keep brassiness at bay to keep your blonde nice and fresh. Toning shampoos aren't overly cleansing, which is why I like to mix it half and half with the Nioxin so that it's both cleansing and toning. But AG Sterling Silver Shampoo is awesome. And this year, yeah, yeah, it was this year. This year I actually started using a Sterling Silver conditioner. Now that's kind of the game changer to me. I know that people kind of can do like the reverse, you know, condition first, shampoo second and whatnot, but I never leave shampoo on my hair when I'm in the shower myself. On a client, it's easy to give them a really thorough head massage and let the shampoo do its work, but in all honesty, most people are gonna need more moisture. I need more moisture. So I love this toning conditioner because I can leave it on my hair in the shower. I could get out, put like a little cap on it or something, and it would tone my hair far more effectively than a shampoo would. I think and then you also get the benefit of moisture but if you want like optimum coolness optimum like crisp blonde you need both so both of these for the win I love them now when it comes to styling hair I play around with a bunch of different things but the one product that I really don't think I can live without and have been really encouraging my clients to use is this bamboo candy dry oil micro mist this mainly I started using it on clients dry hair before I would go to flat iron or curl for heat protection and you can still do that however what I've been using it for on myself and clients has been actually like a leave-in conditioner so on damp hair doing a spray of it doing a comb through maybe doing their haircut maybe doing a power dry if we're styling them out and then mid dry when their hair is maybe getting a little you know full little dry from styling you can do another spray of this and it helps protect and hydrate the hair throughout the whole styling process. You can still finish with it to get glossy hair, revive, you know, ends that are dry, but I really love using it in the middle of the styling process, which is kind of awesome and kind of different. Now, since I'm an oily beast and I can keep that on oil on my ends, my roots are a whole different story. They are the worst. That's why I need the Bamboo Cleanse Extend Dry Shampoo. This is no yoke. It's a very intense dry shampoo. So what I tell people to do with this dry shampoo is to do like spurts, like a, you know, you know, do spurts of the spray, let it sit for a second and then brush through um, with like your wet brush or really a boar bristle brush would be fine just to distribute the product. But this is amazing for absorbing oil if you are an oily monster. Something also that I've had clients use very dry, undone looks are in this year. And I know that like everyone is not like me and wants a ton of products. I totally get it. You can work this through your mid shaft and ends to get that like undone texture that's a little drier and wispy. Perfect. Break up your curls with it. It's awesome. And then the nice thing is because it's a dry shampoo, it can help extend the life of your look a bit longer. All right, on to face. My favorite face makeup foundation bases have both been from Glow Minerals. I just love their that brand. I love um, it's cruelty free. I've used it for years. I've never had issues with it with my skin. 
I love it. So that's why I use it. But the Glow Minerals Tinted Primer in the SPF 30, and this color is light. They have fair, light, medium, dark, I believe are the four colors. This blends beautifully into my skin tone, and it has a little more of like a satin matte finish. So it's great for oily skin tones that want a little bit of oil prevention, but also want to be pretty natural. But it kind of blurs imperfections, but is not high coverage. You could still put a foundation over it. Now, if I want ultimate, ultimate coverage, on top of that, I'll use the Glow Minerals Protective Liquid Foundation in Satin 2. I use Golden Fair in this. The tones are a little bit different with these in, than their pressed bases or the tinted primer. But I use Golden Fair so I don't look dead. But I love this. It's a medium to full satin finished coverage foundation. That's a lot. But cruelty free. It's never given me issues with breakouts. And it still melds into the skin really naturally and is buildable. So I love this. And because it is a mineral foundation, even though it doesn't state the SPF that it contains, it does have a natural sun protection factor. But, oh, I love this. I love this. I was all about the Tarte foundations last year that were like the ultra mattifying. And it just, it felt so unnatural. You know, like you want to fight the oil so much and fight it and fight it and fight it. And this year I was like, okay. Let's be honest, let's look like a human. I am oily, how do we just like look good? This foundation is great. If you're okay with looking a little glowy and healthy, but you have oily skin, the Satin 2 foundation from Glow Minerals, it's your friend. Now, if I need a little extra coverage, I, I, can't, I can't get away from it, man. This is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Concealer. I wear light neutral. And I use it under my eyes. I use it on blemishes. I just think it's a super awesome kind of global concealer. It's very easy to work with. It doesn't set too quickly so that you can easily blend it out. I tried this and then went back to using my Pro Long Wear. And then I was like, okay, well, that's great. That's great. But I'll go back to NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, right? It's more expensive. That should be great. It is not. Both of those products set up so fast and are so opaque. It's hard to do anything with them other than full face, full fledged makeup. This, you can build up and do a serious glam under eye highlight if you wanted, or you could do a little dot under your eye and blend it out and have a super natural coverage. I just really like how versatile the Naked Skin Concealer is, and I think you would like it too. And yeah, I, I think this is probably my third one. I just love it. Now on to more facey things. I have Chicol products. Now, my favorite blush for the year, you've seen it in, I think, several blog posts, actually, is this blush from Glow Minerals. This is sweet. Sweet, obviously, is well-loved, and this is my second one. <laughs> Love it. Sweet It has a subtle um, glimmer to it. It's not glittery, but it does have a glow. It has a subtle sheen to it. So it's mainly a pink, but it does have a coral kind of wash to it and a subtle glow. So it's amazing for spring and summer and to just have that beachy glow. But you can also, I mix it with a little bit more of a matte blush in the winter just to not glow as much. But I love this blush. I've been wearing kind of other things right now because I feel like my complexion has shifted a little bit since it's, you know, freezing outside. Uh. Just kidding, I live in North Carolina, it's just kind of cold. But Sweet by Glow Minerals is a favorite. It looks great on everyone too. I always bust it out on clients when they're a little bashful with color, but like you need some life. Sweet, it's amazing. And then if they're just really into glowing, I love Becca's Moonstone Shimmering Skin Perfector. I, I feel like you can easily go light-handed with this product and it'd be a very natural glow. Or like some days when you're like, no, I need to fake this glow. I'm not feeling it. I need to glow and gleam. Pack it on, sister. Moonstone is a super buttery, easy to blend highlight that looks great as an eyeshadow highlight. It looks great on your cheekbones, a little tip of your nose, a little cupid's bow. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I just use a fan brush with it. And I, I know that everyone's highlight crazy and I totally get it. And I, the only other highlight I have, well, I have two, I have a cream one, the Halo Scope from Glossier, which I do really like. 
and then Glow Minerals in their contour palette has a highlight that's actually really comparable to this. But I just, I feel like I don't know why I would go out and buy another one. Like I just love it so much. I probably will just use this up and get another one. I just, I love Moonstone by Becca. It's, it's a fair girl's friend. You'll love it. Now, when it comes to eye makeup, I, I play around with my looks. Um, I don't, I play with my shadows, I, you know, I, I'll kind of try anything. I like ones from MAC, I like ones from the Balm, so I really didn't want to focus on that, plus it's kind of personal. But what I do always love, and I do always love on everyone, are the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's the original, it's not tinted. I've used it on fair, medium, deep complexions, and honestly, for me, having oily as all get out eyelids, this is one of the only things that keeps my eyeshadow like going all day long. It's great for weddings, it's great for parties, it's awesome. I am using at the moment the NARS, um, stay all day? Conceal? No, no, I don't know. They're primer, they're eyeshadow primer. It's fine. I'm going back to this when it's done. I like that you can easily, like, you can use the doe fit applicator in it, but you can easily, like, squeeze out a little bit, and it's just, it's easier to use, I think, than the NARS, and it's just really effective for oily eyelided people. So just go with the Urban Decay. You'll, you'll appreciate it. You'll appreciate it. And then for mascara, I, I'm coming back to the L'Oreal Voluminous. I saw this because... Jen Atkin, we'll just hold it back here. Jen Atkin, a long time ago in like a Monica Blunder uh, tutorial said that that's what she uses. And I was like, oh, let's use it if Jen Atkin uses it. And it's just a great classic mascara. I've tried Dior ones. I've tried, you know, different ones from Sephora and they're fine. I guess I'm just not a mascara person. And so I would rather just use a really good drugstore mascara that does the job stays well. I've used it on brides. I've used it for weddings and it's just, it's just bomb. It has a great brush on it. I, I just don't, I think if you've got options like that in like the drugstore that are cost effective, go for it. I, I don't see the point in spending big money on mascara and that's why I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara. And then for brows, this one Basically with brow pencils, I need something that has a tiny nib and an attached spoolie because I'm lazy. So this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in color number two. It's a great taupey shade for blondes. I love that it has a spoolie on the end. It has a very tiny nib and I feel like it lasts a long time. The thing that I had issue with with some brow pencils are very dry and very like chalky, pencil-y. And so yes, they'll stay a long time, but you just, it's just not easy to use. And then some are very waxy and glide on, but you get an overly sculpted brow. And then that waxiness kind of melts if you're a hot monster and it just can get messy. So I love the texture of Precisely My Brow because I feel like it's in between. It's got enough staying power but it is easy to use and I love it. It's uh, my second one I purchased this year and I, I see myself buying more. And then for lips, I, I'm bad at lips. I love the colors of lipstick, but I'm so bad for applying them. I'm bad for biting my lips, so I need easy things. And I do have very dry lips. So I looked into Glossier's Balm.com. Yeah, Balm.com. This is just the flavorless one, colorless one. This one's also fragrance free. I love this. It's not as thick and goopy and tacky as the Bite Agave Lip Treatment, which you can really only use overnight because it's super thick, but it has more staying power than like a chapstick or a regular balm or even the one I'm about to talk about. It's very hydrating and it's multi-purpose. You can use it on burns or, you know, dry, ashy elbows or, you know, cracked knuckles around this time of year for me is an issue. So Glossier's Balm.com, you must try it. I know that you have to order online and that's kind of a hassle, but their prices are super good. And honestly, I haven't tried one of their products I didn't like. So give the brand a whirl. It's kind of awesome. Now for a tinted lip balm, which I realized might be one of my favorite products of 2016 because it's just easy 
is this one from Sugar Fresh whatever company it is it's the honey color lip balm so it's very nude very um just sheer natural nudie pink kind of color easy to wear and it's lightly hydrating and the nice thing is you just need a swipe of it mush your lips together and you're hydrated and they're glowy and you're good to go so the honey lip balm by fresh is a win it's just easy and it's cute and i like that the lid screws so it can't like come out of your purse and jack things up for actual lip color this one is a little bit newer to me but like we're gonna be together a while it is the mac cream sheen in modesty so once again it's a lipstick that is it's a little more pinky pinky nude it's not here little pinky nude and i don't need to wear a liner with it which i think i don't like lip liners anybody else but you don't have to wear a liner with it. It's easy to apply without a mirror. And because it's the cream sheen formula, it just glides on your lips. And it has an awesome texture. And it's MAC, so it's pretty easy to get your hands on. But MAC Cream Sheen in Modesty, it's my bae. Now, 2016 was a year where I started thinking more long-term about my business. And I, I am just 30, but I have, um, I've been behind the chair for 10 years. And so I've been thinking more outside the box and I've been brainstorming more and then you know stuff happens in your personal life and this and it, it becomes this huge like in your head and it's a lot and I felt myself getting just negative and I realized it sounds super dramatic but somewhat like jaded and I was talking to a client that is a therapist and life coach and I had heard of this but was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah whatever but she recommended the five minute journal and I was like okay one, I do love the concept of journaling, but like, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not going to just like write a book. Like, what am I going to do with all of this? Like, I need some structure. So she recommended the five minute journal and I picked it up. The five minute journal is my last favorite for 2016. It is a gratitude based journal that you can um, date as you go along. It has, you know, kind of an inspiring quote, but I think the more important thing that it focuses on is in the morning, you talk about three things you're grateful for. You write down three things that would make today great. You write an affirmation, which is cheesy, but I kind of like it. And then that's it. You get out of bed. I don't even get out of bed. I turn on my nightstand and I'm like, and I pull it over. I write in it and then I start my day and that's it. Then at night when I'm just kind of, you know, doing my nighttime routine, I lay in bed, I write down three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better. And the funny thing is when you write down three amazing things that happened today, even if you think like someone rear-ended me, I dropped my lunch all over my white outfit and a client stood me up. Are you kidding me? That's a terrible day. But if you like stop for a second and you think of three amazing things, big or small that happened, and you think about that person that held the door for you at the post office, or how your favorite parking spot at work was open, or you got to go to bed before 10. Those are all amazing things. And so by shifting your focus to those things, large or small that happened in your day, it just, it makes you think like, oh, well, that, there was some garbage that happened, but you know what? I'm ending the day on a high note and that's great. And even reflecting on what you could have done about it, some, sometimes you can't do anything about it. And then that makes you just release that tension because there's some things in life you can't prevent. And that's for everybody. So you might as well give up on that. But there's some things you can't prevent and it's just nice to know like, huh, I, I tried, like I really tried today. And ending your day in that like, I tried my hardest and then some really nice stuff happened today, like just allows your shoulders to relax and allows you to exhale before you go to bed. And I feel that I sleep more restfully and then I'm just, I'm a bit more happy. You like it, it helps with perspective and I really love it. So I definitely recommend picking up the five minute journal, not just if you, if you feel yourself getting negative, but to keep yourself in a positive space is very important. And I, I really love it. Thanks, Jenna. But five minute journal is my last favorite for 2016. 
Alrighty guys, so those are my favorites for 2016. Um, as you're watching this, I, uh, I crossed over 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is pretty rad. Um, thank you for joining me. And I do have big plans for the channel and I hope that you stick around to see it. But as a thank you for subscribing, for stopping by today, I am going to have a giveaway that'll run the course of January. So all you have to do to win the giveaway prize, which I will announce on the Salon Hue Instagram, which I will link below, is you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you have to follow Salon Hue on Instagram, and comment below with one thing that you're looking forward to in 2017. That's it. So I hope you enjoy the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video. And keep an eye out on the salon's Instagram to see what goodies you can take home. I will talk to you next time. Have an awesome January, guys. Bye.